Hi, I'm Linda Cox. I'm an allergist immunologist in Fort Lauderdale, and I'm here to discuss the Choosing Wisely campaign. The American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology participated in this campaign of the American Board of Internal Medicine Foundation. And the intent of this campaign is to look at tests and medications and diagnostic tools that we do in practice that might not be necessary or might be overused or misused. And the Academy is one of the first nine organizations to participate in this campaign. And what we were asked to do is develop five things that physicians and patients should question. And one of the things we thought was important was the treatment of sinusitis with antibiotics. There is evidence that sinus disease or sinusitis is one of the most costly conditions uh, in terms of outpatient visits. Approximately one in five outpatient visits is for a prescription for an antibiotics. But surprisingly, only one to two percent of those sinus infections are due to a bacteria, and that's what antibiotics treat. Sinus infections are mostly caused by viruses, and only a small percentage of those go into a bacteria infection. So to get an antibiotic for a simple symptoms of sinusitis, is not cost effective and exposes somebody to the potential side effects of the antibiotic. So our, our recommendation, I'm going to read it uh, exactly from the page, is don't order sinus CT scan or indiscriminately prescribe antibiotics for uncomplicated acute rhinosinusitis. An uncomplicated acute rhinosinusitis is symptoms for less than seven days, fever that is not more than 101, um, no other unusual signs or symptoms like thick green secretions or swelling around the face, and a person who does otherwise have a normal immune system, that would be considered a person that we could watch and wait and see if their symptoms don't get better on their own. The same applies for T CT scanning. It's recommended that one wait for a period of time uh, to see if symptoms will not go away on their own before ordering a sinus CT scan. And these recommendations are actually based on a published guideline by the American Academy of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery's Clinical Practice Guideline. And they recommend that watchful waiting for adults with bacteria rhinosinusitis be uh, observation without the use of antibiotics in selected adults with uncomplicated sinus infections who have mild illness, and they define that as mild pain, temperature less than 101, and assurance that that person will be followed up. So that's actually in public, public, um, published guidelines. Um, and then there's a recommendation if one is to uh, decide to treat and decide that this is a bacterial sinus infection. The recently published infectious disease guidelines recommend that the medication be augmentin. So that's the first line treatment, providing the person is not penicillin allergic. So what I have said in summary is the recommendation of at least three organizations, the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, the ENT organization, and the Infectious Disease Organization do recommend watchful waiting for patients with uncomplicated, what we call acute sinusitis, and we're saying symptoms that are present for less than seven days, and that's because those people probably have a viral sinusitis. And then if they do, it's determined that they do have a bacterial sinusitis that the medication be augmentin, providing they are not allergic to penicillin. So thank you, and I hope you find this useful uh, when you are starting to experience symptoms of sinusitis and providing there are no other unusual symptoms. Try waiting for about seven days to see if you get better on your own.